thought I'd fix this squeaky chair. Obviously, it's still bedding back in again. Hi everyone, it's Mike here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be creating a bit of a cluster collage art journal page, just with some bits and pieces. I've got a fabulous focal point. As we're approaching March and Easter, I thought <laughs> I've used my one of my favourite little bunny images. And I've also got a, a collection of bits of uh, ephemera which I've printed out um, ready to do a kind of cluster um, in the background with the bunny. I've got a stencil which is the new dot gain stencil, I've got some tea dyeing and I've got some uh, one of these quote stickers from Ranger, Tim Holtz I think these are. Um, yeah they've been taken off the book that they came from so I don't know what they're what they're called or which ones they are so um but there's one of the quotes in here which i think is going to be quite nice to put with the page so i've got everything i need so the first thing that i want to do is obviously build up my background so i've got this piece of uh, music paper i don't think the music is actually real i think it's just made up it's a background that i found um but it was one of these artificially uh, artificial intelligence created images oh nice cup of coffee um that i created for somebody else um for a project we were working on um and i thought this would be nice to as a bit of a background on there doesn't quite fit because it was meant to be as a, an 8 8 um paper pad so there's going to be a little bit of a border all the way around, but i don't mind that just making a difference really so first things first there's going to be no um no real kind of difficulty in what i'm going to be doing today so it's just going to be a question of layering and getting rid of white edges and having fun with a bit of composition so more of a composition exercise than anything really and a bit of fun of course having a little bit of fun along the way so I'm not sure how juicy this tea dye is. This is a, an inherited um, ink pad from when my mum stopped doing crafting. So there we go. I can always add a little bit more grunge and a little bit more dirt later on. So that's going to be the background. So we'll get that glued down first of all. And I'm just using PVA. Um, so somebody asked me recently why I stopped using the Yoohoo um, spirit glue. Well, it's because I think they've changed the formulation and the spirit, particularly when you're using images that have been um, printed on a, on a laser printer like I usually do, um, it started coming through. The paper it started soaking through the paper it never used to but it has done now so like on a page like this where i've printed the background the, the glue would come through and you'd start to feel it on the top and it, it yeah just not good if it was a purchased piece of backing paper um then it, it probably would be okay it just seems to be on paper or the paper that i've got or the cardstock i've got um, but yeah, it is still close to hand. It is still, <laughs> so I do still use it, just not on papers that I've printed myself. Right. Okay. So now we've got that done. Um, so what's next? So we'll start adding in a little bit of background detail. So I'm going to use this dot gain stencil and I'm just going to go up and down. So I'll line it up with the top of the paper and we'll just add some cute little circles in the background and we'll do some of those on this side as well so just up and down 
like that already <laughs> it's already starting to look quite fun right so next bit so i want to add this calendar piece that tea dye is going to have to be front and center because i'm going to grunge every bit up i think i sort of have an idea of where i want to put things today but It's always subject to change because when you do start laying things down you think to yourself actually it would look better if um all right so look at this matchbox front that's what this is it's a matchbox front okay and that's an old calendar from 1883. So a couple of years old. Ooh. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of glue in that corner. And then just start building up that background cluster there. Try and keep it straightish. So the aim is to try and create a kind of diagonal effect across the page with the bits of ephemera, with my main focal point kind of in the middle, but just slightly offset to the left. Okay, so I've got that. And then let's have a look at lithographers. Lovely. That'll do. So. Using the Distress Ink gets rid of those raw white edges as well. Just tidies things up. I always think it just kind of finishes, you know, the, your project a little bit. So we'll go follow the line um, of the text. So down that one side, down across the top, which means we'll put the glue there and there in like an L shape. So that will then fit about there. There we go. So I like that. So let's put some glue on the back of that. Don't mind if it curls a little bit at the edges. It just adds a little bit of depth and dimension. Try not to get glue on my fingers. Okay, so let's put that around about there, I think. Yeah. And we'll just let that sit for a little while just until it grabs and then it won't move. And then we'll start looking at the second cluster. So we've got this, spring and summer, rich silks, rich dress goods, morning goods. That's an advert from 1884, just the year after that. It's a very vintage page, this, isn't it? So I'm gonna start building the cluster up for this side. And then we'll lay that down and start auditioning pieces before we stick our dapper bunny down. Okay, so I think the postcard, I want that to come in this way. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I think maybe probably about there. So. so while you're doing a composition, if you've got a kind of an idea, sometimes it's a good idea to, to get a piece of scrap paper and then just draw out 
kind of rough sketch plan of how you want your um I've got a piece of scrap paper how you want your composition to be so for example so if I just draw a square like so and then I want my main focal image to be there you can kind of plan how you want your your collage to to be so I want a kind of diagonal shape so most of this side I want to be free so all of my collage elements want to be like that so coming down that way vertically that way and on this side I want them to be horizontal and then your focal point can sit in the middle and then you've got a little bit of white space that, that can go just a bit over and try and work out that way remember that kind of rule of thirds if you draw like a tic-tac-toe or a knots and crosses grid as we call it and think about that placement so what I'm doing is my main focal is going to be along here. My ephemera is then going to follow that pattern like that. So we're crossing. So we're kind of following that axis for that composition. Yeah, I hope that makes sense anyway. Right, so let's have a look. Um, yeah, I think probably bring that down to about there. So just in that corner there. Let's just put a little bit of glue. Doop, doop. Just in that corner. And then yeah, I reckon that's good. So that's going to be about there. And then we have a few other little bits. So that's following that line across. This is an old bus ticket from Edinburgh. Caledonian trains, Blair Gowrie, or Gowrie, Blair Gowrie to Edinburgh. And I picked that one from my collection because it's blue. And my main focal point, the bunny, is also got a blue coat on. So I picked a few colours that would go. I'm just add a bit of glue onto the bottom and then we'll stick that about there mm -mm 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 -mm. so just on kind of in the middle like so yep like that so I think what we'll do now is I'll actually stick this down, but I'll bring back in Mr. Bunny. And then we can work out where he's going to sit. There you go, you see. Look at that. Anybody would think I'd planned it ahead of time. <laughs> there we go. So let's flip that over. Bring that in. Right, so before that grabs too much, let's just bring Mr. Bunny back in. And then we can see whether that's... Let's just bring that down a tad. Okay, happy with that. Just straighten that up. Okay, and then we can just add in a stamp, I think. 
Penny Black. I don't know what I want to do there, since we've got a postcard. Let's stick that in the corner, just like so. Lovely. Okay, so now, time to get the bunny stuck down. So I'm just going to go around the outside edges. Just gently. I don't want to rip him. Just catching the edges with the foam. Just to hide that raw white edge. I'm not coming to into the actual image itself. I'm just trying to catch the edges. If you've got a distress um, pen, that will work too, or any kind of brown felt tip, or even a grey felt tip, a grey alcohol marker. That should work as well. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let's flip him over and get some glue down on those fabulous ears. Collages like this are just so fun. I mean, you could go as whimsical as you wanted to, or you could add in butterfly wings or whatever, but I'm not doing that because I just want him to have kind of like pride of place because he's so a handsome bunny, isn't he? He certainly is. Okay, so the last two bits then. So these two little pieces are from my um, random words and numbers. So it's just trying to, so that's the random words and numbers that these sheets, um, so there's two sheets and these are all different kind of random words, numbers, um, dates, just all different colours, that kind of stuff. So there's something for every occasion really, particularly when you're doing a fabulous little collage like this and you just want a little bit of text that doesn't actually mean anything okay so that one there we go so add a little bit of glue there I think this is going to be one of those rare occasions where I do everything, the whole project in one take without having to stop the camera for anything. So let's bring that across there. So this is why I waited till the end because I wanted some of it just to break into the foreground like so. And then the last piece Like I said, these pages are the fun to do on two different levels, really. It's fun trying to find the bits in your collection, your ephemera collections, um, your digi collections. It's fun to find items that go together and it's fun to put them together. It's fun creating your composition. And then once you've worked out your composition, you've got the added bonus then of actually sticking it all down together and seeing your idea for your composition come to life. And then of course, you've got the pleasure of seeing it finished afterwards. There we go. 
that's that comment. You can barely see where that uh, where that um, stenciling has gone. So let's see if we can just add a little bit more, just to kind of bring that back in. So I'm just going to do it in that corner, just over the top of where that calendar was. There we go. So we've got that there and then maybe just a little bit up there. There we go. So that creates that kind of visual triangle then around the page. All right. So the last thing that we want to do then is to add in the quote. So we've got this really, really long one that goes right the way across. So I'm going to cut it into two. Like so. And I'll just stick one on the bottle just so I know where it is. And then I can just give the edges a bit of a whiz over with the Distress Ink. Just to kind of blend it in a little. Okay, so then we'll add that as part of that cluster. Those who don't believe in magic. And then we'll put that bit on the postcard. There we go. I like it. I like it a lot. I think I'm done. I'm happy with that page. So that was fun to collect. Oh, I was going to put some mushy tape down, wasn't I? No, we're not quite done then. Right. So, yes, just a little bit of washi tape. And that's really, or predominantly, just to kind of ground our little bunny down there so just to kind of finish that off there we go and i'll just take another small piece and just put that there and one more small piece and that can go up there will do. Two bits of washi tape all done and dusted. So I'm really happy with that. I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this all in one take without any stops. Um, if you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share the video with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel-only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.